we're going to do ghost stories. I'm going to tell you every uh, paranormal or ghost story, whatever you want to call it, every encounter that I've had that I can remember in my whole life. The first one, I was in junior high, probably 1970, 70, 71. I used to uh, come home from school for lunch. I came home uh, from school. I was at uh, Londonderry Junior High. And I came home for lunch one day. And there was nobody in the house. The back door was open. And uh, I came in and lunch was made. So I sat down at the kitchen table. And the way I was seated, I could see uh, there was three steps on my left. I was sitting at the kitchen table, and there was uh, a face straight ahead that was the entrance to a little area of, was like a dining room table attached to the living room. And on my left, there was the entrance to the to three stairs down to a landing and then out back door and then if you were at the back door you could either come up those three stairs to the kitchen or go down to the basement. I was sitting there eating lunch and like there was no TV playing there was no nothing it was quiet I was just eating and there was nobody nobody at home and I thought well everybody just stepped out to the neighbors or something because that's why the door was open. So uh, our uh, back door had a, an inside door and an outside screen door. Now we would leave the inside door open during the summer, and it was summertime, and just use the screen door. So I'm eating my lunch, and I hear the back door open, the screen door, and I, I'm just out of the corner of my eye, I, I, as I'm looking towards the back door, I see a, a head, it's a dark shape of a head, and I hear the steps of foot, footsteps going down the steps to the basement. And I said, hi mom. And I didn't get any answer, and I thought, well, maybe it's because she didn't hear me. So I just finished eating lunch, and then uh, I washed my dish and uh, then I called out to, I said, hey mom, I'm going back to school. Still no answer. So I went downstairs and there was nobody there. I searched all the bedrooms and there was nobody there. So I had heard and seen something, but uh, was unexplainable. Uh, these I might have to relay in uh, no particular order. The next event happened in the house I'm living in now. I was sitting in our living room watching television. Uh, it was nighttime. All the lights were off except for the TV and uh, maybe one other dim light. I, I'm not sure. It wasn't very bright. Anyway, down the hallway, it was completely black. And I'm eating, kind of looking to my left. I'm looking up at the TV. I'm looking down. I noticed out of the corner of my eye, there was uh, a little light. So I turned to my left. I looked down the darkened hallway, and there's this little tiny uh, light, bright white light, and it moved kind of like this off further to my left down the other hallway so we had an l-shaped hallway and then i'm looking at the tv and i'm thinking oh that must have been somebody's headlights shining off of a light fixture and the way it moved it kind of looked like it would be a, a, when a vehicle turns it does that slow gradual movement and 
then I'm watching a little bit more, a few more seconds watching the movie, and I'm thinking, how could light get all the way down the hallway? It's, it's, there's many different angles. It would have to bounce off a, a mirror, another mirror, another mirror, and then the light fixture. Well, so I turned on the lights, I go down there. There is no light fixture where I saw that light. There's nothing to reflect light. It was a light source that just suddenly appeared and then moved off slowly down the darkened hallway out of my view. The next event, I would uh, frequently get up in the middle of the night, about 2, two o'clock to 2.30, I would do some programming until maybe 3 or 3.30 and go back to bed because I, I couldn't sleep or I'd wake up and I had this brilliant idea that I wanted to get coded, a solution to a problem, a new feature, something like that. And uh, I'd get up to use the washroom and then I couldn't go back to sleep because I'm thinking about this. Oh, it's going to be so great. I'm going to get this all coded up. I got up and uh, I did my coding. I got it done. And then I went to the kitchen sink. And I'm washing my little bowl and the bowl is white porcelain. And I'm washing the bowl and I'm looking down and my bowl turns blue. The inside white part of the bowl turns blue, kind of like a baby blue, sky blue, something like that. And I'm scrubbing harder. I'm thinking, whoa, I, I didn't eat blueberries. How is it blue all of a sudden? And then as I'm scrubbing harder, of course, my hands come into my view and my hands are blue. And then I look at my arms, my clothing, it's all blue. And then I step back and I realize I'm surrounded by a blue cloud. Now here's the interesting part. That, that's, that's pretty freaky to begin with, but here's the even more interesting part. There's no shadow. My hands did not cast a shadow on the bowl. My little scrubbing brush did not cast a shadow on the bowl or my hands or on the sink. There was no shadow. This light did not have a source. It was just glowing blue all around me. And then boom, it's gone. Now, I'm not the kind of person to freak out when I see something weird. So I go, wow, that was strange. And I went back to bed. I slept soundly. Next morning I wake up, I'm thinking, it must have been a light that somebody shone through my kitchen window from the walkway behind our house. Two problems with that. I got up, I went to the kitchen window, and that window is completely blocked by a plum tree full of leaves you can't even see in daylight. You cannot see sunlight coming from the walkway into that window. So it could not possibly have been light shone from the walkway. And the next thing would have been, I would have seen shadows. There would have been dark shadows from all the branches. There was, would have been shadows on me. How did the light bend to go in the window and then down about that far to get into the sink? Like here's the bottom of the window and the bottom of my bowl is way down here. But light doesn't bend that way. That was the blue cloud event. The next incidents, or instance was middle of the day. I'm walking out to my car. My car was just a little uh, Toyota station wagon. Really loved that car. It was uh, bought, I bought it from a friend. Used it for many years. I'm coming from our front steps, down the steps, down the sidewalk, towards my car. Now, my car's on the driveway, and the driveway, I would say, is about maybe 30 feet, so I'm 30 feet from my car, but just from the angle, the, the driveway is on a upwards incline, I'm walking level, I can see under the car, and under the car, I see this ball of black 
with gold flecks in it. And it's, I, I use the word roiling, it's going like this. Underneath the car, black and gold. And I'm thinking, wow, that's a funny looking cat. So I, I stay upright, I'm walking normally. I get it to the car and, you know, throw my hat or whatever in the car. And then I bend down, look under the car. Okay, first of all, I never saw a cat run away. So I'm thinking it's still under there. I look underneath the car, nothing. And then I think back, it didn't really look like a cat. It was going like this with gold stripes going through it, black, really, really black, and then gold stripes going through it. That was the end of that. The next instance, I was at the house I am in now. I'm in the bathroom. It's at night, taking a shower, just got out of the shower. And I'm drying off. This far, maybe about that far, so that would be um, two feet, say 24 inches, in front of my face, big as a pie plate, this light appears, perfectly circular, just like a pie plate, the size of a pie plate, and I can only describe the color as the most beautiful calming yellow. It wasn't gold, it was yellow. And I'm looking at this thing right 24 inches in front of my face. I continue to dry myself off, thinking, well, that's weird. And I'm just looking at it. There's nothing in the light. It's just the pure light. Pure same, by pure I mean same color. And then there's a bright flash and it's gone. Now, I had told Wendy. Wendy was in the bedroom, which is attached to the washroom. Wendy was on her side of the bed and I had my side of the bed, which I was about to well. occupy. Now I have a dilemma. I have told Wendy about the blue cloud and she didn't believe me. I told Wendy about the black cloud. She didn't believe me. So now I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I tell Wendy yet another sighting or not? And I thought I should tell her for whatever reason. I just thought it would be better to tell her. So I proceeded, or proceeded to tell her. And uh, she said to me, oh, that's what that flash was. I thought you were taking pictures of yourself. Aha! Corroboration. I now have a second person who witnessed at least a little piece of the phenomena. Yeah, I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm in the ravine behind my house. So there we have some proof, right? Now, as far as ghostly encounters, oh, yeah, one more. Now, this one took place, I think it was uh, in the evening. Now, I did a lot of coding at home, even when I was working for other customers. Uh, you know, this was before the Internet. I could take my source code home and I could work on it. So I was working at home at my computer. We had a little dog. His name was Dong Dong. Dong Dong was the most amazing dog. Super intelligent. A little Yorkshire Terrier. Dong Dong means East or Little Boy in Cantonese, depending on the context. So that's that's where that name comes from. Wendy named him. Now Dong Dong, he loved me. He always wanted to spend time with me. So he parked himself at beside my uh, chair facing the opening of my office door. I was sitting in my office chair typing on a computer. Now, when I look left, 
uh, I can see there's this big opening where anyone walking from the living room to the kitchen would walk, walk right past this big opening and I would see it or see them and that happened many times people were walking from the kitchen to the living room you know all during the evening well this one time it was a little bit later at night maybe 9 30 to 10 somewhere like that and I hear these footsteps going from the living room to the kitchen and I see out the corner of my eye and you know I'm concentrating but I kind of look a little bit to my left and I see this dark shadow walking the sh shape of a human being the silhouette of a person Dong Dong looks at it too he was he had his head down he put his head up and he's looking at the opening I'm kind of halfway look I, like a real quick glance just like that and I see this shadow walk from the living room to the kitchen now that particular night there had been nobody around and until that silhouette and then I, I finished up what I was doing I stood up and that person hadn't walked back to the living room so they must still be in the kitchen so I get up and I walk to the kitchen through that same opening to the kitchen nobody there my dog's head verified that there was something there he looked at the same opening as I did at the same time. His head lifted up from a resting position to a, you know, a watching position. That's all I can recall at the moment. Anyway, more to come.